what's going on everyone your favorite girl is back so listen people have been coming for dc young fly left and right okay so we're gonna start off with the rapper at yes live aka t tender back on ig who is trending after she spoke on dc young fly speech that he gave at miss jackie o's funeral so it says in effort, I must say what I really feel about DC Young Fly's performance at Jackie O's funeral. I didn't find one second of it funny. I don't think her funeral was the right place or time for his whack a jokes. If there is one time to be serious, it was that time. Talking about you want more kids as you're burying the mother of your three kids was highly disrespectful. But I guess a serious speech wouldn't have gone viral, right? Sad. Everybody is doing it for the clicks, including her own friend, B. Simone. Now, let me just say this. I don't agree with this person at all. I felt like DC Young Fly was being himself and he gave a great speech. He talked about her being a great mother. He talked about having his rib taken away from him, his rib being Jackie Yo. I felt like he talked a lot about God and tried to inspire others despite what he was going through. Just because he wasn't sobbing and falling all over the place and acting how people may have thought he would have have been acting doesn't mean that he didn't take Jackie O's passing serious like I am so mind blown by this post that is trending and going viral for real like I'm mind blown now what I was given a side eye to was the fact that Jackie O's father who is a black man and her mother is white well he got on the mic and he talked about you know racism and the fact that Eve was white in his mind he says Eve was white I was so glad that someone came and tapped him like listen brother it's time for you to get up off the mic because what he was talking about was was crazy to me the fact that he's saying this in a room full of basically black people okay if y'all look at the videos instead of him talking about his daughter and how much of how much she meant to him and what a great mother she was and her accolades you know he talked about nonsense, okay? The master teacher, his name is Minister X, peace be upon him. He says that Adam and Eve were not black people. Adam and Eve were not white people. Let's look, if you will, go with me back in your mind to Genesis chapter 1 and verse 26. I don't know nothing about the Bible, but it reads... Yah says, let us make man in our image after our likeness. And he used the dirt, and the dirt is brown, to make Adam. Now, I don't know if you guys know anything about science, but on the... Your, um, your DNA strand, all that is is a series of information. And it can't produce anything other than what's on that information. That's science. If Adam and Eve were two black people, everybody on the planet would be black. If Adam and Eve were two white people, everybody on the planet would be white. Where did these white people come from? Where did these black people come from? Go with me. Yes, Adam used, or Yah used, the dirt. The dirt is brown. Adam had air wool brown eyes, and used to make Eve. That's Genesis chapter 2, verse 21. He took her rib, or Adam's rib. Eve, her ribs are pinkish. Eve was a white woman. If you're looking at the material, unless God is a racist, he wouldn't have changed the material. And he took it from Adam's rib. Ribs are curved. A mess. A mess, y'all. What is he talking about? The first red flag was he says he knows nothing about the Bible. I don't know nothing about the Bible. And that he was told this by someone named Minister X, huh? 
Minister X. Okay. Then he said Adam and Eve was not a white or black person. But at the end of his speech, he says Eve was a white woman. <laughs> the confusion of it all. I am surprised no one has not dragged him for this. He should be going viral right now for the foolishness. He is delusional. Everyone knows that back in the days that Adam and Eve was black. All the people back in the days were black. Okay. He needs to have several seeds. Now. Now, let's jump back on to DC Young Fly, okay? He is also being dragged along with his co-stars of the 85 South show. They are trending after footage show the comedians making egregious remarks about women's bodies. Okay, so it says his whole team hates him. Not only did they release this after her passing from complications due to cosmetic surgery, they dropped an episode they could have edited to exclude this part about BBLs. Tell me you lying. It goes on to say with other comments, the fact that the video was uploaded after his baby mama slash girlfriend passed away, just terrible and very tone deaf. His baby mama slash girlfriend literally gave him three beautiful children only for her to lose her life trying to keep up with his nasty beauty standards. Standards. So basically, you guys, I could read on and on and on, but the comments were very, very negative towards DC Young Fly and his crew. Okay, but you all leave your comments down below and let me know what y'all think about that part now. Now, the negativity don't end there, you guys. A podcast called The Viral Way had a lot to say as well about DC Young Fly. Check it out. I don't give a shit about them kids. What? He out here, bruh. This is what the nigga that married a mama. It's different. Listen, hold on, hold on, bro. The nigga didn't marry a mama. Stuck three babies in her, never Wait, married. I think her. he's engaged. Hold on, they never said that she was his fiance. They, they were like I his think partner. They did. They when did. I watched the news, it went from partner to fiance. <laughs> nigga said a lot of shit when somebody dead. It was partner. Let me finish. Hold on, let him finish. I didn't say one on, word. Man. Let me get his point on. She was his partner. She wasn't his fiance. The nigga's lying. That's for publicity reasons. PR. You put three babies in and you ain't married her yet. You don't give a shit about her and you don't care about them kids. I do not. What, man? Mm -hmm. Wait. Look, I didn't say right. that. We're going to talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. On everything I love, what nigga going to let his kid's mama go under the knife unnecessarily? Surgery is a serious issue. What if he my wife, a oh, 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 wife right. got a, a minor surgery, bro. Very minor. Very minor. I was stressed the fuck out. Like, are you sure they got to do this? Can they give you pills? Can they? It's like when it's your wife and you thinking about your kids and you thinking about is something happening. You know she ain't going to the doctor like she supposed to. Because she had an underlying heart condition mm -hmm. that a regular EKG would have caught. Is that mm -hmm. what it was? Like, That's what like killed her? it. Oh, That's what killed right. it. I Bruh, didn't know. I go get my heart all that checked every year. Every adult, even at 30, 25, should do that. So, so this lady is getting surgery from a doctor who was notorious for bad surgeries. Mm. She has an underlying heart condition, which means they wasn't on top of her health. 
he know he probably wasn't making sure she was on going to the doctor like she supposed to. And then he let her go do that. There's no reason why he should have let that girl do that. Because she's trying to do that shit probably because he out smashing other chicks. And she like, damn, I got to be able to compete with these chicks. Like, we talk Bruh. about everything but except what it really is. She trying to keep up with that nigga. She trying to make... Listen, Miss Jackie O's passing touched a lot of people. I can't imagine how DC Young Fly may feel on top of having to deal with negative people who are trying to paint him out to be a bad person. I really don't like that, okay? Like this right here. So it says, allegedly, DC Young Fly and Jackie O were not together at the time of her passing. He is allegedly dating some 20-year-old. Mm, 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 mm. My thing is, why make up allegations like this with no receipts? A mess. Look, you all leave your thoughts down below and let me know what y'all think about all the negative assumptions that people are throwing at DC Young Fly regarding his, you know, relationship with Miss Jackie O. Subscribe to the channel and I'm out, you guys. Bye.